the Japanese, the Chinese, that ring of fire, the way their timber framing evolved, and they really have a lot more earthquakes than we experience, is really unique. It took me a long time to get my head around it. And it involves just a lot of friction. So what it looks like, well, for one, the, uh, the Chinese temples and all, everything they do, they tilt their all their exterior posts in one degree. So one degree, so it's it's stacked to hold itself together. Okay, so that, that's number one. What they also do is they have a real elaborate piece where they call it, not a real flattering name that the English have started to call it, they call it a frog scratch, RR. <laughs> that I'm not kidding, that's what they call it. And all these pieces are interlocked and woven to a beam and there's no pegs or anything. And so at first glance, it looks like there's just a bunch of ornamental pieces up here. And you know, what's holding this from falling over when, when, when there's loading problems on it, right? When it's, and my mind struggled with this, struggled with this, struggled with it. Finally, it dawned on me that all of these pieces with friction, all kind of interlocking and they, they go 90 on each other. They create what you might call a flexible or adjustable knee brace. All they, they interlock and they all stack together so they're all tight. You're not going to shift real easy. But then the earthquake comes along and it does this up and down thing you're talking about. And when it's gone back, it settles back in however it does and it's locked back together. So kind of crazy, crazy cool, right? I don't know that I'd have the patience to create that type of interlocking, you know, all that intricate thing. Maybe I should someday just put it on my bucket list, but that's uh, most, and then for as far as our clients, you gotta wanna have the right look as well as the pocketbook to, to, to fund that. Uh, so good question, thank you, Cole. And uh, if you want to let me know if I've answered that well enough for you, that would be good.